Hi. Welcome to our channel. My name is Adia. I am so excited that you guys are here. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you for coming. Again, my name is Adia. Thank you so much for joining 713 and Prom Girls Rock first virtual uh, makeup workshop. 713C G to be exact. Thank you so much for coming. Come on in. In today's class, we will be going over a couple of everyday makeup styles in just a few easy steps. And I just said a few easy steps because this is a basic skills workshop. So no fear. We're going to get you together. Okay, so let me introduce you to our organization, tell you a little bit about our organization first. 713 and Prom Girls Rock is a nonprofit organization, and we host annual prom dress giveaways every year to Chicagoland High School junior and senior girls. Yes, I did say we host annual free prom dresses. So we give away free prom just to all uh, high school juniors and seniors who need them. And the dresses are fairly new, and most of them are new. So make sure that you um, like and subscribe to all our channels and check out our website to see some of our past events. We also prepare young women for college through our basic skills workshop and college resources. Our overall goal is to make their prom and college dreams come true. So we're definitely here to make sure that they're, you know, uh, have a good head on. We are a women empowerment group. So we make sure that they are empowered when they leave us. Now, let's get to the good part. Because we appreciate all of your support, we are giving away gifts. So if you are interested in receiving a gift at the end of the class, please type in the word gift. If you are interested in receiving a gift, please type in the word gift in the comment uh, section of the YouTube, right in the comment section of the YouTube uh, live. And you also have to be present at the end of the class, okay? And the winners, if you become a winner, you have 24 hours to email us at admin at 713ceg.org. That's admin at 713ceg.org. Your first, last name, and your mailing address. That's your first, your last name, and your mailing address. Okay? All right. If you want to see more information on our upcoming events or past events, just go to our website at www.promgirlsrock.org. Or you can like us on Facebook at Prom Girls Rock. And on Instagram at 713CEG. Okay? And that information will be in our comment section uh, if you didn't get it. We absolutely encourage your questions. So let me know where you're from. If you are a high school student, let me know what school you're from. Let me know what side of Chicago you're from. And if you're not even from Chicago, let me know. Shout out your state or city. Okay? Um, we do um, encourage questions. We just ask that our guests enter the question in the chat and we will do our best to answer every question, okay? So now, I want to introduce you to our beautiful model. She's also one of our directors, Cleo. She will be demonstrating both of our looks today. We're doing two looks today and she will be doing both of them today. So one is an everyday look and one will be a holiday look or an evening look. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started. Please, I encourage all questions. Let me know why you signed up for the class. Let me know how you even heard about the class. Okay. All right, Cleo, are you ready for our first look? I am. All right, now. So the first look is a daytime look, and Cleo is going to exhibit some soft colors. Because a lot of us, we're not used to putting on makeup every day. We don't know how to put makeup on. So we're just going to do about five or six easy steps just for the everyday woman. Okay, Cleo. So her first step is concealer. So I have the Juvia's Place concealer. 
in the color or shade nine. And before I did this, I for my skincare, I normally wash my face with a cleanser. And then I um, put moisturizer on. So I have this, look at like this bright, this Clinique moisturizing lotion. And then I primed it with the Milk Hydro Group. So I'll okay. add concealer. And I have, I wear glasses normally. So I have like dark spots right here and then acne scars or dark marks. So I use the concealer to cover those things. Now, concealer is not always necessary, but just like Cleo said, if you got marks on your face or a dark spot that you want to hide, the concealer, what that's going to do is just kind of give your skin a more flawless look under the foundation. So what Cleo is doing, she's just kind of blotting it on on the spots that she feels necessary. And what she's gonna do it with, and what she's gonna do it with is either a sponge or a brush, or you can even do it with your fingers. No worries. If you don't have a sponge or a brush, you can do it with your fingers. And she's gonna exhibit a couple of demonstrations of how to do that. So I have this small sponge that I use. I'm gonna wet it. And why, let me ask you a question, Cleo. Why do you wet your sponge before you uh, uh, blot? So the product doesn't get soaked in. And also it expands the brush as well when you wet it. But it's normally so the product doesn't get soaked in. Great. <laughs> so right now we're just going to watch Cleo and how she exhibits how she um, she demonstrates how she blotting just very lightly blending and blending is very very important when you're putting on concealer and foundation you want to make sure that you have full coverage on the spots that you want covered all right Adi, i see that we got some people responding back to where they live we have people from illinois joliet chicago the south side of Chicago. Whoop, whoop. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody from Joliet, south side, Illinois in the house. Whoop, whoop. Let us know how you heard about us. Let us know uh, how did you uh, sign up? Did you sign up through Facebook? Did you get an email? Let us know a little bit about yourself and how you connected to Prom Girls Rock or 713 Community Empowerment Group. Thank you for coming. So, Cleo, now... You're using a brush? Yeah. Yeah, just to show that you can use either a brush or a sponge to blend out. And, if and blending is very important. Blending is very important as Cleo is doing right now. She's doing the coverage on the areas that she feels needed. And if you don't have either or, you can use your finger. Blend it out. Now, some people might say, I don't wear makeup. Why do I have to wear concealer? Again, concealer is just a coverage under the foundation because sometimes foundation doesn't do a full coverage. So you have to put concealer on to have that evenly smooth, flawless look. And just like Cleo showed you, you could get products from Clinique. You could get product products from your local drugstore. You uh, could get products from um, the beauty supply, and they even sell products at the dollar store. So that's no worry, okay? So now Cleo is going to transition to her foundation. So she evenly put the concealer on the marks that she felt was necessary, just doing some last minute blend out, and then she's going to start on her foundation. It looks crazy, but trust the process. <laughs> trust the process. That's definitely good advice. All right. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Longwear Foundation Soft Matte. And this is, I'm going to say 430, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 430. 
You just shake it on a bit. And then I normally like to put the pumps on the back of my hand. I'm a little ashy, so don't judge. And like that. And then take the brush and just apply it around. So Cleo's gonna evenly apply her foundation all around her face. And then once she apply it all around her face, she's gonna evenly blend it out. So blendage is very, very, very important. It doesn't take long to blend, but blending is very, very important when you put on foundation. You wanna get around your neckline, you wanna get all around your hairline, around your ear, because you don't want to have a foundation mark where people know where you started and where you finished. You want to have an even blend all over. Like you Cleo don't want to look like a mask. Right, exactly. We already wear a mask. Why we got to look like we painted on a mask, right? <laughs> hey, Michelle, do we got any questions out there or do we got any comments? We just have people just chat, jumping in, joining the chat, just saying that we're doing good. Cleo's face is going through a process. No real questions just yet. Thank you, everybody. Again, thank you so much for coming. And if you're if you just came in, I just want to reiterate that we are having a gift giveaway. So if you are interested in receiving a gift at the end of the class, please type in the word gift and um, comment it in the YouTube live. Once you um, once the winner is picked. And the winner will be picked at the end of the class. So you have to be present to say that, uh, to claim your prize. But winners, you have 24 hours to email us at admin at 713ceg.org. Your first, last name, and mailing address. That's at admin at 713ceg.org. Your first, last name, and mailing address. Okay, let's get back to Cleo. So how you doing over there, Cleo? Good, I'm just adding another layer to give me that coverage that I like. I like full coverage makeup um, to really cover up those scars that I have. And also I have like oily skin kind of or combination. So I want something that'll really stick to me. Okay. So Cleo is making sure she do the full coverage. So you see how she's lightly blotting her face just to get that full coverage. And now you see Cleo's skin is actually coming back to normal. We was a little dotted up with the concealer, right? People always get scared at that part. But like Cleo said, once you put the foundation in and blend really good, you got to trust the uh, process. So you over there looking good, Cleo. So the next, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on um, the eyeshadow once Cleo is done blending. We're gonna go to the eye. Yeah, we do have questions coming in, D, in regarding to how to do eyeliner on the top of the eye and to define the cheekbones. So those both will be coming up a little later as Cleo continue with her makeup. Thank you for the questions, everyone. Keep them coming. Yes, like Michelle said, um, in terms of the eyeliner, we're focusing on the eyes right now. So right now, Cleo is doing a daytime soft natural look. And, and we will be doing a holiday look that um, encourages the smoky eye. We're going to have a little shimmer with uh, some darker colors. But right now, we're focusing on a soft glam. So Cleo is going to demonstrate uh, the eyes right now. So thank you. Keep your questions coming. So she's cleaning her hands right now. So she, it's very important that you clean your hands in the process. You could use baby wipes, makeup wipes. If you're bad sink, you could just wash your hands because you don't want to add the product. You don't want to smear the product on another product. So now she's about to concentrate on her eyes. So she's wiping her hands because she had foundation and conceal on it. And she's going to start on her eyes now. Alrighty. So for my eyes, I like to um, add a little 
concealer so the color can pop. This is Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Deep. You can get this from Walgreens, Walmart, any drugstore. Even Ulta has it. And Cleo, even the dollar store has concealer. Look, True. just like that. So no worries if you don't want to spend a lot of money. If you just want to practice on it, the dollar store has a lot of great items. The beauty supply even has a lot of great items for not a lot of money. So if you just want to practice your makeup, you can always go to them stores first just to get a little practicing if you're not comfortable applying makeup just yet. So Cleo it applied that concealer on her eyelids so she could give that color a little pop. And then I'll use the same brush that I use for my concealer and just blend it in so it won't be so harsh. So she's blending in that concealer really good. And you can do it with your finger as well. If yeah. you don't have a brush or a sponge, you can do it with your finger as well. I personally, personally like to do it with my finger because I feel like I got a better control but you can do it with the brush or you can do it with a sponge. There is option. And good blending, Cleo. Good blending. So now Cleo is going to go to her eyeshadow. What eyeshadow are you using today? Good question. Um, I'm debating between... You said daytime. So I'm going to probably switch. This is the Juvia's Place Coral, Nubian 3 Coral. Okay. I heard that's a really good eyeshadow company. Mm -hmm. Their pigments really be popping. Yep. You see, I. And it's full mm -hmm. of natural colors. So if you're a natural girl, Juvia's Place is definitely one of those. Uh, places. I think they're, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm and I'm sorry if I am, but I think it's black owned, right? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. Oh, so what I like to do, do I have a brush? So I like to take a fluffy brush and use that as my transition color. So, I like to do light and then build to dark. So, I'll start with this color. I oh, can't see this color. Oh, no, there's no colors on it. No name. And that's very natural and it's daytime. Is you can wear if you if you're a person that's in school right now, you can wear this color in school or you can wear it to work. It's an everyday color. So that's really one of the soft colors that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michelle, do we got any questions or comments out there? We don't have any questions right now, but we do have a couple shout outs for Simeon High School's on the line with us, Westinghouse, Inglewood, High Park. Any other high schools out there that I'm missing? Put in the chat so I can go ahead and let them know that we're on the line with you as well. Hey, my girls. Hey, my girls from Inglewood, Simeon, and all the other high schools. Remember to follow us because we have a lot of more workshops coming up. We definitely focus on the youth, and we want to make sure that we get to you and make sure that you can benefit from us because we are here for all you girls. So Cleo is blending out her eyeshadow now. She's going, she's starting at the crease of her eyes and then she's blending it out. I'm just add a little bit more on both eyes. Just so it can really pop. Okay. Can you see the difference? Yes, I can. Can you all see the difference out there? It's really a light mauve and it really looks nice, especially for someone who's not really comfortable with wearing a lot of makeup just yet, but you do want to play in it. This is the way to go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you looking good, Cleo. All right, and then 
So are you mixing colors? We can. Okay. Woo -woo. We about to play with some colors, y'all. The good thing about makeup is if you make a mistake, you can always mix and no one would know. Um, so probably, let's see, this, uh, this, wait, where's my camera? This color and this, see how that looks. And if you find yourself at putting too much on the brush, you can always blow the brush but, yeah. before you start. Okay. So again, Cleo is just going to apply it. She's you can see, you notice that she's applying it to her lower lid now, and she's blending it just back and forth. Easiest one, two, three. It's going back and forth, back and forth until you're comfortable. Some people like more, some people like less because we're doing an everyday look. We're not doing too much, but if you want to go a little bit more, you can. It's all relative to what you like. Thank you again so much for coming and joining us. Let me know. I got a question for you guys out there. Why did you sign up for this basic skills uh, workshop? And what are some of your makeup concerns that you have, if you have any? We might got a few experts out there. So, Cleo, what are we doing next? Um, let's see. I wanted to play in some color and see how it turned out. So, I have this Morphe palette. These are the colors in it. And I was thinking... Ooh, them colors are pretty. Show them colors again. Them colors are gorgeous. Thinking this one or this one? Which one? This one. Or... Let's go with a gold. Let's go with the orangey tone. This one? Yeah. All right. Because we're going to save our darker colors for our holiday look. Gotcha. Okay. So once, so once Cleo, she's going to clean off her brush because she's changing her colors. So you can clean off your brush with like a baby wipe very lightly, or you could take a paper towel, just lightly clean off the brush like you see Cleo doing, and then keep it moving. Okay. Adia, we did receive a question in the chat. They wanted to know, do you should they buy a full brush set or can they just buy individual brushes? You want to answer that, Cleo? I personally like the brush set. I think it comes out cheaper. You get more for your money with the brush set um, only because you can get like, I bought a brush set for Morphe. It was like 10 brushes for $25. Normally an individual brush can run you seven to $10 for a good brush. Since you're just starting out, you can always go to like the dollar store and get you a brush just for practice. And then as you develop your makeup skills, then you can develop in your, in good brushes. Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely. I love that, Cleo. And you know what? Right now, because it's the holidays, a lot of people, no matter if it's Macy's or Family Dollar, they all are selling makeup kits and brush sets for like cheap. So if you're interested in buying makeup and brush sets or anything makeup, this is a great time to do it right now because everything's on sale. So that's a great question. I'm just doing so with this. This is a flatter brush. So I'm just using this like a liner per se. I'm just taking it at the lower part of my eye. Okay. So you're just gonna blend that out at the lower part. So mm -hmm. it's not it is it are you using it like almost like an eyeliner pencil? Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Okay. So Cleo is just kind of lining her eyes with that with that color, and you can actually line your your eyelid, the under eyes where you normally would use a uh, a pencil. 
you can actually take go use that with some eyeshadow. So you can dip your uh, brush in some black eyeshadow, and you can do that too. You can just make your line. It's not as invasive as a pencil, actually. For my girls who love black eyeliner. So what's up next, Cleo? I'll pull a little back around. Um, should we do color underneath the eye? Yes, definitely. Let's have some fun. Okay. Let's have some fun and do some colors up under the eye. And then after that, we're going to work on that mascara and lengthen them eyelashes. Um, one trick, because I'm not that great at it, is take setting powder. Um, so this is I'll use this one. This is NYX. Is it NYX or NYX? I don't know. Can't stop, won't stop setting powder. It looks like this. You see how I use it. And I just tap it, let a little come out. And then take a brush. Put it underneath my eye for the fallout so it doesn't mess up. That's a good tip, Cleo. And most people use setting powder because if you have oily skin, once you complete your look, once you complete your foundation, you put the setting powder on there so your skin won't look oily or your skin, the oil won't just exude out the foundation because some foundations are oil-based. So you can put it on and everything, make your face up and then an hour later look like you didn't slap some grease on your face. So Setting powder or finishing powder is very good for that. All right, Adia, we have a couple of questions coming in. And before I go over our questions, I just want to make sure that everybody knows to share, like our video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? We do have a question coming in. One says, do you use a sponge applicator that comes with eyeshadow kits? I have. You have? You have? Mm hmm Oh, yes. You can use the sponge applicator that comes with the eyeshadow kit. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, that's good. I actually like that because it gives, it picks up more of the makeup. It is a little smaller, but it does the same thing. All right, we have another one coming in. They want to know what events do we have coming up in 2021? We're going to be able to share this at the end of our, um, our tutorial, or do you want to go give them a little couple highlights now, Dee? Sure. While Cleo is um, doing her under eyes, um, we can just let you know that we are working on um, we are working on a way to get them prom dresses out to um, our high school juniors and seniors. So we'll definitely let you all know more about that as the year progresses. And we're actually having um, a fundraiser um, at the end of this year with formal dresses. So that uh, price will range from five dollars on up. So be sure to, and the dresses are beautiful. So be sure to keep um, keep up with us so you can get that information. We do have another workshop, another basic skills workshop next week uh, for, with the makeup program. So we have one more for makeup next week. And then after that, in the beginning of 2021, we will start our, um, our financial workshop. So we will have, um, you know, just talking about credit, how to get our credit together, people who want to open up checking accounts. We have partnered with a couple of people. So stay tuned to that. All right. We got any more questions, Michelle? Uh, we have one question that just came in and wants to know what actual thing are you using to find your eyes? She didn't see the beginning part. What are you actually using under your eyes? This is a smudge liner but you can use any um, brush that has like a straight tip like that or a fine point let me see if I have one here so this is full up but it's similar like that and I started with this color the private room can okay. you lift it up yeah like this color right here and I was trying to add this gold so you can see it more, but it's 
not really popping we, on camera. We see, we see it, Cleo. It actually oh. looks good, okay. and it's a subtle look. It's a subtle look. It is not. It I can see it. It looks really good. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna um once you uh finish up with that, we're gonna work on. We're gonna go to the mascara. So we're gonna show these ladies that. Sometimes you don't, I know a lot of people love lashes. We love lashes too, but you don't always have to result to that if you're not comfortable putting makeup on. So for the everyday woman that just want to put some makeup on, kind of enhance her beauty looking good while she go to work or go to school or, you know, doing your everyday uh, chores, uh, you could just put some mascara on. You don't have to use uh, uh, false lashes. If you don't want to. I have sensitive eyes, so I can't use it. My eyes run a lot because of I wear glasses. So I fall in that category. But I have, this is Ulta Legendary Lengths. Got it from Ulta. It was like $8. can always catch it on sale, though. They always have sale. And then this one is for the week. Lash doubling mascara, and I like to mix it um because my eyelashes aren't that long, so I like to do both to give it some volume. Um, D, Cleo, we have a question coming in regarding mascara because you said you wear glasses. Cleo, young lady wants to know is can you wear glass lashes with mascara and glasses? I have, yeah. I have. I've worn it. Well, I've worn false lashes once for a special occasion. I'm um, right now having contacts. Um, but yes, you can. I have done it. Yeah. And one thing about mascara, some mascara come wet. So just give your once you put the mascara on, kind of give your eyes about five minutes to dry. That's all. So, so it won't smudge your glasses. But other than that, you can wear them with the glasses. So, Cleo, I noticed that you're applying your um, your mascara almost like you're individually applying it. Yes, yeah, so I can get all the strands or coat all the strands. And then so it won't stick together. So I just mm -hmm. take it and stroke them up so they can stretch. Nice. I love the technique. And we can actually see the difference. Can you all see the difference in Cleo eyelashes? Let us know. Let us know. Really looks good, Cleo. So now she's going to demonstrate on the other eye how she puts on the mascara. And then I want to ask, I, I probably asked this earlier, but let us know how you, how did you hear about us? How did you hear about Prom Girl Swark or 713? And once Cleo done with the mascara, then we're going to know she's going to show us how to apply blush. A lot of people is not comfortable with blush, but blush is a very nice style for you to have to accentuate your jawbone. We have a question in here that came in about a young lady wanting to know what type of foundation should she use? I know we're on eyes now, but she wanted to know, again, what type of foundation should she use for younger looking skin? She doesn't want it to be too heavy. What Cleo used, uh, Fenty is a good uh, foundation. They come in all colors and it's a light foundation. So once you apply it, it's just very, very light. And then if you want to go heavy, you can apply another coat. But Fenty Beauty is a very great foundation in terms of um, lightness and the range of colors that they hold. And it's buildable, like she said. So you can do one layer and then you'll still look like 
um, it's your actual skin, not, it doesn't look like you have more makeup with Fenty. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, ladies. And we're getting responses back for your question, D, of how did you hear about us? Someone said even bright. We got a couple people that are saying Facebook. Someone said their friend at the hair salon. We got people saying Instagram. And then we got even bright again. Well, welcome. Thank you again. Thank you so much for coming. Um, again, I just want to reiterate why Cleo is getting her blush together. I just want to reiterate how um, we just really appreciate all your support. Again, we are a nonprofit organization that gives away free prom dresses to high school juniors and seniors. And we just want to make sure that we get that word out there because we love to support the community, especially young women. Okay. All right, Cleo, you ready for this blush? I am. All right, let's do it. All right, so I have two different things and I'm a mix. So I have this palette, the Pro Fusion Blush. You can get this at Walmart. This is a cheap, I want to say, you yeah, a cheap brand, but it's very pigmented. So it's affordable. Affordable is a better word than cheap. It's affordable brand and they're pigmented and it's six different colors. Um, so I like to, you can see I've been using it. But I like to use this color. I mix it sometimes, so we'll mix it today. So I'll do this and this. And it's very pigment, so be light. So see how I'm just tapping it like once. I'll do the other side. I just did like two taps. This is how much came off. So yeah, well, blush, sometimes blush can be too light or it can be too pigmented, like Cleo said. So if you think that you got too much on your brush, you can always blow the excess uh, blush off because sometimes a little can be a lot. Or if you actually put too much on and you notice, like, I'm not comfortable with all this, just blend it out. Blend it out. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it until it lightens up to your satisfaction. So like Cleo is doing right now, She's just taking her brush and she's stro stroking it up her jawbone to accentuate that jawbone. Give herself that rosy, pinky look. And I'm building. So I'm starting off light to, and then adding more to the liking. All right. As, as time goes on, do we have people that want to know, are we actually going to be able to do a holiday look today? So we actually are still going to do the holiday look. I just want to make everybody aware of that. I know it's 3.51, but we still are going to be doing our second look. Yes, we are going to be doing our second look. Thank you so much for being so patient with us. We're trying to show you very detailed look of a natural look or everyday look. But we're almost done with that and we're going to get to the good stuff. We're going to get to the glitter and the glam and the highlight. So we're on our way. So, so but you can see it. Yes, we can. It looks very good, Cleo. So now Cleo's going to put her highlighter on. All right, so I have this from Beauty Bakery is the brownie bar. This is also black owned. Shout out to the black owned companies. And let me use the, the camera's backwards, so I keep doing this when it's this. So use this as the highlighter. And I have a fan brush. If you don't have a fan brush, then you can use like the same blush brush. So I'll do both so you can see. You just tap and it's a little on there. So the same as we explained about the blush, you can tap just a little bit because highlighter is very pigmented as well. So you only need a little bit. And it's just going to give you that sun-kissed look that you're looking for. It's looked great on pictures. It looks great on person. It looks great on Cleo right now. Love it. And you only need a little bit. And if you feel like you put too much on, just blow the brush, blow the excess off your brush. 
outside of below, remember that you can still tap as well. Mm -hmm. And later on, we're going to discuss how to clean your brushes. I know a couple questions are popping up, D and Cleo, in reference to being careful not to get saliva on your brushes and to tap and actually how to clean your brushes. Absolutely. So while Cleo is doing that, she's going to start on her lip gloss once she finishes up with that. And I can actually just let you know about the cleaning of the brushes, which is very, very, very important because we have to take care of our skin, right? We got to make sure that our skin is good. Even though we put makeup on, we put makeup on just to enhance our beauty, not to make us beautiful. So we want to keep our skin healthy and we're going to keep our skin beautiful. But before I get to that, let's let Cleo tell us what she's doing. So I finished the highlighter. And I'm going to use this NYX um, Ombre Lip Duo. It's supposed to be two, but I used all that up. So use this lip liner. This is how it looks on my hand. Nice. So she's going to line her lips right now. And while Cleo's lining her lips, let me just uh, go back to the cleaning up the brushes. So they do have uh, all makeup, most makeup companies have brush cleaning solutions. So you can go to, just like we said, you can go to Fenty, Mac, Macy's, any local drugstore, Walgreens, CVS. You can go to the beauty supply. And if you don't want to go to none of those stores, you can always just use some good old soap and water. You can just put a little bit of your uh, palm olive or Dawn, dip a little bit of soap in, um, in a bowl with your brushes, let it soak for about an hour, rinse it off really good with some hot water, get a towel, and lay your brushes out and let them dry. You can clean them that way, or you can use some witch hazel. You can soak them in some witch hazel, let the uh, excess uh, foundation and creams and stuff come off. Rinse it off with some hot water and let them lay out on a, a clean, dry towel. Okay. All right, Cleo. So what are we using now on our lips? Just lip gloss, regular pink lip gloss. Okay. So Cleo is completing our first look, our first everyday look. She's just applying the last. Um, application of her pink lip gloss and she showed you that she lined her lips with what was the name of the liner again, Cleo? Um, NYX liner but you can use any liner. I like reds and purples so you can use any color that you like to help make the lips pop and then give it a nice little tint. And, yep, and then any lip gloss as well. I like to use a little bit of pink, so it just, it's not too bold, but it still so gives this, a color. Thank you, Cleo. So this is very gorgeous on Cleo. As you can see, she got a full application on her face. She has her eyes, matches her lips. It's very subtle. She Can we see your highlights again, Cleo? So she, you see her sun kiss highlights with along with her blush. Just a very easy one, two, three step that we did. She took her time to show you guys so you can understand the process. And if you don't mind hanging around, we got a second look. So thank you so much for the first look, Cleo. So what she, Cleo's going to do, she's kind of going to wipe uh, some of the makeup off her face so we can start our second look. So while Cleo's doing that, Michelle, do we got any questions? Um, I just want to, not a question right now, but I do want to make sure that I let everybody know that you have to be present to win your gift at the end of the, the actual presentation. So we want you to stay on a little with us so you can be present to win your gift. Yeah. And make sure that you're sending that in to YouTube or on Facebook and we're taking the names in and we're going to definitely choose your names at the end of the presentation. So while we're waiting on Cleo, let me just show you guys one of the gifts. So we got two sponsors who are giving us gifts. I'm so excited for you guys. We got two sponsors. One is from the Family Jewels. The Family Jewels is a black owned company that sells jewelry and they're donating jewelry 
to the gift set. So everybody is going to get two pieces, two gifts, and one of the gifts is coming from the Family Jewels. You can like, you can look them up on Facebook. Uh, they sell paparazzi jewelry, only five dollars. Okay, so they're donating some beautiful jewelry, and then we have this right here by Avon. We have an Avon uh, True Color Moonlit Highlighting Powder. So just like Cleo got that pretty Star Kiss look, let me just show you guys how this highlighter looks. This is it right here. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm doing... Okay. So I don't know if you guys could see it, but this is the highlighter. So please type in the word gift. And the information should be in the chat box where to email us at, okay? If you are a winner, the information should be in the chat box. So stay tuned. V, can you go over a couple of the other programs we're going to be offering? That question came back again about what other workshops we'll be offering soon. Sure. So while Cleo's getting herself together, I will tell you about some of the other workshops that we're having. So we are having another workshop next week. Um, at the same time at three o'clock. So please join us again next Sunday. Come to the makeup party with us so you can see a couple of these looks that we're showing. And we're also working on our 2021 prom dress giveaway. We will let you know further details because we are in a pandemic. So we have to kind of work some things out. So be patient with us in regards to the free prom dress giveaway. But we are having a fundraiser that's coming up really soon where we're fundraising formal dresses. And I know for a fact uh, the prices start at $5 and up. So stay tuned for that. And one more thing. Oh, we're having a, a youth workshop, a financial youth workshop, where we're going to uh, speak to a lot of young ladies and their parents or family, whoever wants to join, about credit, starting up a checking account, and just how to save money. I know a lot of our girls going to college right now, and it's just very important to learn how to manage your money. Okay? Thank you so much for asking all your questions. Keep the questions coming in. We definitely want to engage with you guys. And if you don't have time to put in a question, always feel free to uh, email us, like us on Facebook, comment. Let us know what you're thinking. All right, Cleo. So we ready for our holiday look? Yep. All right. So Cleo's going to um, demonstrate a holiday look. The holidays is coming. I know that we can't congregate like we used to. Auntie Lori got us on lockdown. But for some of us, we might still celebrate really small, but we still want to look cute. So Cleo is just going to demonstrate some of um, the looks. Well, a look. So you can um, practice on that for the holiday. All right, Cleo. So since the eye makeup was subtle, we're just going to enhance it. I have this Anastasia X Jackie Ina palette. Um, these are the colors. Pretty. That's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous palette. And... Trying to see what colors we should use. Let's Which go with one? some darker colors, Cleo. Let's go with a purple and gold. Okay. So, so a lot of people want to know about a smoky eye. So let's just let's start off with the smoky eye. So with the smoky eye, a lot of times people start with their dark colors at the end. And then they come back up in their forward lid with the lighter color. So let's start with that, Cleo. Do a smoky eye? Yeah. A lot of people always ask, how do I do a smoky eye? So we're going to try to do a smoky eye for the everyday one. We're not trying to make anything complicated for you guys. We want this to be where everybody can do it. So I'm going to start with this color called Pinker. Mm -hmm. I think that's like a 
And I still have a little bit of what I already did. I wiped some of it off. Look. And Cleo is just showing you how to go from a day to night look as well. When you have on makeup, sometimes you don't always have to, if you're doing two things in one day, you don't always have to wipe your face completely off. You can kind of just kind of clean it up a little bit with the foundation or um, if you need some areas that do need to be wiped off, wipe them off and reapply. But Cleo just going to show you how to go from a day to night. Do we got some new people out there that came in? Let me know where you from. If you just came in, let me know where you from. I know my South Side people out there. My, I got someone from Joliet that was out there. And then add a little bit more, make it pop more. Michelle, do we got any questions or comments? Um, we just got some comments. We have somebody from Hammond, Indiana saying, great job, ladies. Um, Thank we have you. somebody from the Northwest suburbs. We have somebody from the West suburbs. We have somebody from Calumet City. Mm -hmm. Chicago, hey, Calumet. East Side. Um, and then we have the North Side of Chicago as well. Hey, North Side. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. No. So what are we doing, Cleo? I'm gonna add big wig. That's this purple to give it a smoky eye. Yes, that is so pretty. And I'm just doing it in the middle part. So Cleo is starting at the edge of her eye. So when you're doing a smoky eye, just like Cleo's doing, always start at the end, and then it gets lighter at the beginning of your eyelid and always remember to blend blending is very important you don't want to look like you got one color here and then one color here you always want to blend it so the colors can transition together and blend together and a smoky eye don't always mean that the color is black it just means that one color is maybe darker than another. One part of your eye is darker than the other. And then I'm going to just go back with that pink and mm -hmm. move it with that. And while Cleo's blending down her eyes, I just want to, again, let you all know to please come join us for our next makeup workshop on November 22nd. That's next Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. And also be looking out for our formal dress fundraiser. Okay? And dresses will start at $5 and up. Beautiful, beautiful dress. All right. I feel like I need just a little color on the top of that. Yeah. So add a little... I'm can we add, get a little shim can we get a little shimmer shimmer the holiday? Can we get a little shimmer since it's the holiday? Since you asked. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna wipe off my brush. And let's take a poll. Let's we want to know if Cleo, we want to know if we want to see Cleo as some bold pink lipstick, or do we want a red lip? from Cleo or a purple lip. Put it in the comments to let Cleo know what you think this look should be capped off with on her lips. Pink, purple, or red lip. Don't have me out here looking crazy, people. <laughs> them my girls, them my prom girls that rock, they love us. They gonna make sure you look good because we make sure they look good, right? <laughs> I got somewhere to go after this. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, okay. So, Cleo, what are you doing right now? I am, you can see it, adding 
I'm trying to get Zam, which is that, and then sponsored. It's like a multicolored. The light is kind of okay. Very pretty. Yep. Let's see the outcome mm -hmm. of that. Why Cleo is lightly, she's she's lightly applying the shimmer because you don't want to overbear it, and then you won't see the first color. You want that shimmer, that gold shimmer to enhance that soft pinkish purple look that she went for on her eyes. And this has a lot of fallout, so I'm going to just take my sponge that I use for my foundation and add underneath my eyes. So that way, once I'm done, I can just dust it off. And it's a dust off the shimmer because a lot of times when you have shimmery eyeshadow, shimmer equals glitter. So you'll have glitter specks all over. So that powder is really, really nice to catch that. And I'm just patting it on. Hey, Michelle, did anybody tell us what they would like to see Cleo uh, have on her lips at the end? Absolutely. We have a little debate going on between purple and red. Right now, purple and red are what's happening. It's an even oh. score. So the, the next one that gives me a response in purple or red is what we're going to have to go with. So one more response, purple or red. Okay. Okay, Tad Breaker, are you out there? That looks really nice, Cleo. Do the same on this side. Tad Breaker, we waiting on you. Thanks, Michelle. So Cleo is just kind of touching it up, touching up her um, under her eyes. Red it is. Red came in. Red it is, Cleo. Red it is. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, my supporters. Thank you, Prom Girls Rock supporters, for picking Cleo's final look. I can't wait to see it. So while Cleo is doing that, I just want to remind anybody who is new, um, who just came on, to uh, if you are interested in receiving a gift at the end of this class, please type in gift in the comment box on YouTube. And if you are a winner at the end, you have 24 hours to email us at admin at 713ceg.org. That's at admin at 713ceg.org. Your first, your last name, and your mailing address. Your first, your last name, and your mailing address. Thank you. So Cleo is finishing up her eyes right now. Now remember, in the first look, Cleo already had added her mascara. She had did her eyelids. So are we changing that up, Cleo? Or are we going to leave that part the same? Um, I'm going to add a little bit more mascara because it got glitter all over it. Okay. And I'm just dusting off that excess powder along with the glitter. All okay. right, ladies. For, for time's sake, it's 412. We want to try to get this second look wrapped up in the next three to four minutes so we can go ahead and pull those names. So get ready to have the names pulled out. Okay. I also want to give a shout out from ladies from Peoria and Kenosha that just joined us today, too. Thanks, hey, ladies. Lady. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining Prom Girls Rock and 713 Community Empowerment Group. We definitely, definitely appreciate all of you all's support. I hope you all are enjoying this class. I hope you all are able to apply some of these techniques. And if you did come in late and miss some of the stuff, we will be sending a replay to your email. So thank you so much again. And also, we do have another workshop next week. So be looking out for that link as well. And we okay. get red lips. Okay, Cleo. So they, the, the, uh, the, the audience, supporters, the supporters said they want to see a red lip. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got to get the red lip. So while Cleo's getting her red lip, um, do we have any other questions that you want to ask about the organization? Do you have any makeup questions? Or if, do you just want to give a shout out? 
to any of your organizations that you're a part of. We would love to know, you know, if you're a part of any organizations and we can always kind of partner up with you guys. Just let us know. And don't forget to like us and subscribe on Instagram, Facebook, and check out our website at www.promgirlswag.org. Okay, Cleo, so what are you lining your lips with? Um, Next, what shade is this? Current is the name. Lip liner crown. Lip liner. Let me see it with the light. Okay. So Cleo's is going to line her lips right now. And it's kind of similar to the lip that you had before. That liner that you had before, is that similar? Yeah. So Cleo's lining her lips right now to give us that red look that we're waiting on. All right, D. While we're waiting on Cleo to line her lips, we did get a request um, to say, say a request that we do a hair tutorial for different hairstyles coming up soon. So maybe we can add that to the list. Maybe we do have some licensed stylists that are involved in our group, so we definitely that's something that we can add to the group. Definitely, we 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 are in talks of a braid uh, workshop. I know that for a fact, but I'll definitely take that to our directors. And sit in our director's meeting and you know talk about some hair because that's important too especially for our younger girls who's going off to college they have to know how to take care of their hair while they're down there so so cleo what brand is that that you're using for your real up here's something i found in the beauty supply store for a dollar oh that's really pretty and like we said you know as far as makeup products, you can go as far as Macy's, Sephora, Ulta, all the way down to the dollar store or even the beauty supply. You can get products for a dollar. And it and a lot of times it comes out the same. Some some may have more pigment than others, but when it's that case, when you want to have more pigment, then that's when concealer comes in. It'll give you that pop that you're looking for. Or you could just um build your application like Cleo was showing you earlier. So she's just going back over with her eye pencil. I mean with her lip liner. I apologize. And voila, here we go. So Cleo, if you could get a little bit closer to the camera so they can kind of see your eyes. So this is a holiday look. So she just kind of still gave you a subtle look, but she added some shimmer and some gold to it. Mm -hmm. She kept the highlight and she kept the blush. And as you all requested, she gave you all a red lip. So she's just going to give you a little bit of more of that highlighter just to add to that good old Thursday night Thanksgiving dinner so you can be beat to the gods. <laughs> And so you can be Instagram and social media ready for all your fabulous pictures that you're taking with just your small group of people, family, small group of friends, or whomever. So, as right. Cleo is doing that, as Cleo, I'm sorry, we got no, a comment gonna, from a ship. Yeah, we just have one more comment. They say, well, we're on the table discussing hair tutorials. Let's see if we can do one for eyebrows as well. We're going to bring that to the table too. Got it. Definitely, definitely. We're going to bring, so we're going to dissect the, we're going to have more makeup workshops. Definitely, we're going to dissect, we're going to go more into detailed uh, places of the faces like eyebrows, eyelashes. Um, this is a basic skills workshop. So this is for the everyday woman who just wants to kind of concentrate on uh, everyday natural look. So we didn't go into too much detail in terms of eyebrows and eyelashes. But if you just want to get up and play in a little makeup and go to work or go to school or just go out for a moment, then this is what uh, Cleo is demonstrating for you today. But we will take in consideration uh, more detailed classes as well. Okay. One All right. Cleo is I'm sorry, D, go ahead. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. Cleo, you look gorgeous. I love this holiday look. I love the red lip. I love the daytime look as well. It was very pretty. As you can see, Cleo sun kissed her face, her cheeks. 
She got her eyes blinging and she gave y'all some red lips as you all requested. So again, thank you all. My name is Adia and this is our beautiful model Cleo. She's also a director with Prime Girls Rock as well. And we just want to say how excited we was to have our first virtual makeup workshop. And we definitely want you all to um, join us in our next workshop. But before you leave, we got an announcement. Do we have some winners, Michelle? Yes, we're ready. We have three winners in your chat ready for you. Okay. So let me check for y'all. Let me see who the winners are. Okay, so the first winner, and I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but is it Shanae? It's S-N-E-H-A. If Shanae or S-N-E-H-A is on here, please, um, please say yes in the comments. If Crystal is on here right now, please say yes in the comments. And if Angelina, if you are on here right now, please say yes in the comments. And under the comments, you should see on YouTube, you should see the instructions that you need to follow. So you have 24 hours to email us at admin at 713ceg.org. That's admin at 713ceg.org. Your first your last name and your mailing address. Okay. And that should, you should be able to see it in the comments as well. Congratulations to our winners. Thank you so much for uh, supporting us and participating with us. I hope to see you guys next week. Again, my name is Adia. That was Cleo. We're 713 Community Empowerment Group and Palm Girls Rock. And um, I think that is everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe on Facebook and Instagram. And you can subscribe to our YouTube page right now. You can look at some of our past videos. We have great videos on here. And to our winners, again, I just want to let you know that you are getting a highlighter from Avon. You're getting a highlighter from Avon. True highlighter. It's really, really pretty. And we have a sponsor from the Family Jewels Boutique. They sell paparazzi jewelry, so they will be donating some jewelry to you guys as well. So that's exciting. Please like them on um, Facebook, the Family Jewels Boutique. All right. So do we have any questions before we let our lovely ladies uh, go and enjoy the rest of their Sunday? That's all I got over here, D. It's a wrap. Uh okay. Well, thank you so much again for joining us, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you for coming out. Bye.